welcome to another video and also welcome to this reading vlog. Now, this <laughs> particular vlog is going to be themed. Um, you would have already read it in the title. It is themed around dark academia. Now, if you're not familiar with this sort of like trend or aesthetic, um, this is something that I actually stumbled across on TikTok. Uh, I was looking at like cozy sort of like videos and I found this sort of area of TikTok that I thought was really uh, interesting and cool. This aesthetic sort of follows like cool old buildings and cozy vibes and like brogues and trousers. Think of films like The Dead Poet Society, that sort of aesthetic is what Dark Academia really like encompasses and it's sort of like risen to popularity because of books like um, The Secret History by Donna Tartt which I haven't actually read but um, have heard good things about so I want to read that in the future. I find this aesthetic very very cool because this was pretty much the theme of my Tumblr circa like 2013 um, except back then it wasn't called Dark Academia, it wasn't called anything, it wasn't a thing, um, it was just, it was just aesthetic and and theme of photos that I thought was really cool. So today we're going to be reading a book that I think falls into this like dark academia category but that also fits into the fantasy genre uh, and the book I'm going to be reading is uh, A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Um, this book has sort of been marketed as like an adult Harry Potter um, which is like more dark and it's like a wizarding school but there's going to be like death and scariness in it but the students have to pay like a much higher price for actually using magic so that's sort of the premise of the story um it came out a couple of days ago so i'm hoping that dimmix is going to have it in stock uh so we're going to go down go book shopping maybe pick up one or two other books i got a gift card so i'm really excited to be using that i want to pick up a couple books and yeah let's go do some dark academia themed reading but that's also gonna be fantasy because it's me and i just i, I want to read the fantasy stories <laughs> okay i should also add that there was a certain amount of effort that i actually put into my outfit today to make it fit this whole theme please don't look at my desk it is so messy it's always messy so yeah today i'm wearing these um shorts which i got a really long time ago from princess highway they are kind of difficult to show you but like they're my favorite um shorts ever they're so lovely um and comfy and they very much fit the theme and then these loafers are ones i bought in japan they're from uh i will put the name in here once i work it out it's one of like the few shoe shops in japan where you can actually buy um sh shoes that fit my particular foot size because like i'm a size eight us and that's not a shoe size that you can find very easily in japan anyway they got these shoes from there they were quite cheap and they're very comfy and good so yeah that is what i'm wearing today uh as i said was trying to fit this particular aesthetic i was wanting to wear a, like a black skivvy today um but it is <laughs> it's like 30 degrees outside and um like 30 degrees celsius so i didn't I didn't want that. Anyway, I'm gonna actually stop dawdling and uh, let's go to Dimmicks and go buy some books. just at the moment. Um, I am heading into the university because I actually have a library book to return um, but there's also a really really pretty uh, reading room in my old university so um, I have an alumni card which is why I have a library book to return here. Um, I borrowed uh, Irving Goffman's The Performance of Self which is an anthropology text so I'm going to be taking that back but yeah hopefully the really pretty reading room is open so we can go do some reading in there um, that would be really nice
so it's quite a bit later now it's like 6 30 ish i had a few other things to do today but i am about this far through a deadly education i feel like i'm just like freezing through this book i'm reading it really quickly i'm really enjoying it um i'm finding that like the balance between the story and setting up the world is really good at the moment like there's a lot of information to get across about this like dark wizarding like monster school and all of the processes and how it works and um, like the logic behind it um, as well as the magic system there's like a lot of information to get across but I feel that the author is really balancing it really well so far so like it's not information overload but I feel like I already know like heaps about this particular setting um, the last few clips that you guys would have seen would have been me at the reading room at the University of Adelaide I haven't read in there in quite a while it's been um like a reasonably long time since I've actually gone in there and read and I had forgotten how quiet it is in that room like I used to go in there all the time but I always found it really uncomfortable that like if you made the tiniest sound it would just like echo across the like whole hall I had my books in the brown paper Dimmix bag and I am such an idiot because <laughs> I sat down and I was like right okay and then I was like slowly crinkling the paper to try and open it and like not wanting to disturb anyone. So yeah, that's like one of the awkward parts about reading there is that it's furiously quiet. But that's like the environment where I want to read in. Like I want it to be super duper quiet so I can concentrate. I'm not one of those people who listens to music while I read. Like I find that really interesting that people are able to listen to music because I absolutely cannot listen to anything. So yeah, I'm going to head off. I'm going to go back to reading. Um, again, really enjoying this book so far. I feel like I'm going to breeze through this um which is saying something because i don't read physical books that quickly um but i am getting through this really quickly so um yeah i'm going to go back to reading now good morning everyone and happy sunday um a little bit of time has passed since i actually last picked up the camera to film for this reading vlog um you might have noticed something a little bit different i did get my hair cut um, I now have a fringe again and it's quite a bit shorter. I only get my hair cut like once a year-ish, like once every 11 months or so. So um, I get it cut kind of short-ish for me and then I just let it keep growing because I am lazy. Um, so yeah, I've read quite a bit more of A Deadly Education. At this point I only have like this much left of the book to read. I think I have like two chapters. Or like 50 pages or something like that so i'm going to be finishing that today i actually really wanted to go out and um go read in the state library today because they have like the super pretty reading room um that i've been in once but is like really really nice but i'm not like feeling the best today i actually have like a bit of a headache like it's fine for me to read but i don't want to go like gallivanting all around the place um so we might go there in like a different vlog and i can show you guys that later but otherwise i'm going to stay home today and finish reading this book I am really enjoying it at the moment I'm still like breezing through it like I feel like for me this is a very like easy read however the sort of thing that I'm finding with the story at the moment is that I feel like there's so much information to get across about this particular world to make it like hold up there's like a lot of information dumping going on and I'm just like my brain in the background while I'm reading this book is just like well, well that that particular part I don't know if that makes sense um, or like I'm just trying to work out to, because the the school and the setting is so complex and there's so many like little loopholes of like well if that's happening then this thing shouldn't happen um, because like there's so many little parts where I'm like oh but the kids could like instead of having to be killed by all these monsters they could do this thing but overall the world building feels pretty like solid to me like I'm really enjoying the setting it feels very real um, it doesn't have the same sort of sense of wonder that you get from Harry Potter, but like that's sort of kind of to be expected. This is supposed to be a lot more like scary and monster centric or probably not scary. That might not be the best word, but um, it's more creepy. Like I'm, it's a bit more of a thrilling book than Harry Potter would be. So yeah, overall enjoying it. I'm excited to see how it ends. Um, I, again, to try and fit this dark academia theme, I'm wearing my, like, other pair of pants that falls into this, yeah, dark academia aesthetic. Um, I have had a lot of comments on these trousers before. Um, they are from a shop in Shinjuku, just above Shinjuku Station. It was in a department store. These pants were, like, 2,000 yen. Like, God, I love shopping in Japan because the clothes are so interesting and so good and so cheap. 
um, and I love them. But yes, I love these trousers. They're like wide leg. Um, they make me feel like an explorer of the world. They're the best. And yeah, they're very comfy. So that's what I'm wearing today to try and continue this dark academia aesthetic, even though I'm in my uh, kind of modern apartment with modern things that don't really fall into this category, but never mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to jump back into reading now. I'm going to finish reading A Deadly Education, um, and then I will let you guys know what I thought of it. Okay, so I just finished reading A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I literally just closed it after having gotten through the last chapter. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Overall, I think I'd probably give it like 7 out of 10 or 3.5 stars is probably like where it's at for me. I got through the story really quickly. Um, I really enjoyed the process of reading it, but there were little bits that I was a little bit picky about. Like I felt like at the point where we finally finished the story, that was when I was like really getting into it and that was when the story was really getting good because there was just so much information to get across about the school like I felt like we only just got through really explaining how the school worked at the very end it was sort of difficult to get lost in the story of what was actually happening because it kept coming back to this particular thing like holds up how the school works and that kind of stuff I also had like the tiniest bit of difficulty connecting with the main character because she's quite uh, angry and like sort of like an angsty teen and I really liked that I liked that she had a strong personality like she had a very particular personality which is a thousand times better than having you know like a paper person leading the story who doesn't really have a personality and lets things happen to them that's like my least favorite version of a protagonist but um, there were bits in this story where it felt like her reactions weren't justified or like she would overreact with anger in my opinion or she would be like unnecessarily hostile to someone some of it was justified by like her backstory but there were little bits where like it felt like she was just being too angry and I found it like the tiniest bit annoying but yeah overall I liked it I thought it was a good story I really enjoyed it um, I am probably going to read uh, the next one because it's sort of finished at a point where I want to learn more and um, I really loved the setting. I thought it was really interesting and really cool and it had the dark spooky school vibes that I was really wanting from it so that's really good and yeah I'm probably going to head off now. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I hope you liked this vaguely dark academia themed reading vlog uh please let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below take care and i will see you guys next time bye, -bye.